a robotic arm. It will then be attached to another European-built element, the Node 2. As you can see, this is a laboratory. It's a pressurized laboratory. It's about uh, five meter long, four meter diameter, and it uh, uh, accommodates what you can see here, uh, scientific experiments. Here you have four racks, and it can accommodate up to 16 racks of scientific experiments. And it allows uh, three crew members to uh, operate this module and to generate science uh, uh, in a short sleeve environment. In addition to that, there is an external platform outside that can accommodate up to four um, uh, facilities. Uh, we are going to launch two of them, Solar and UTEF, and they accommodate outside on the, the so-called so EPF. Each rack is a laboratory in its own right for research in different disciplines in space. The European Draw Rack is designed for scientific experiments in a variety of subjects in all of its seven interchangeable drawers. The European Physiology modules are dedicated to experiments to better understand the workings of the human body. Biolab is designed for biological research in space, investigating the role that microgravity plays on all functions of an organism. Together with the EPM, experiments in medical and pharmaceutical research will be performed, aimed at the application of improving health on Earth. The Fluid Science Laboratory allows research into the dynamics of fluids. The first experiment to be performed might help to better understand the flow of the fluids in the outer core of Earth. External experiment facilities can be mounted outside Columbus. Two of these will be launched together with Columbus this year. The first, called UTEF, includes several technology demonstration experiments, including exposure to space of new materials. The other, solar, measures the radiation from the sun to understand its influence on Earth's atmosphere and its climate. The internal facilities are already installed in Columbus, so that the experiments can start immediately after it has arrived at the ISS. On board, the ISS ESA astronaut Leopold Eartz will support the activation and checkout of Columbus and its experiment facilities. Well, the scope of this Columbus mission is, this is the first mission for Columbus, so we are going to bring it up in the shuttle and then uh, un unload it from, from the uh, payload bay of the shuttle and attach it to the station. And then we make all the connections and uh, activate the module. And then there will be, during the, the rest of the flight, uh, which is a long duration flight for me, a lot of commissioning tasks. means making sure that all the systems, all the uh, scientific facilities are working correctly. While Leopold Eartz and his crewmates will conduct experiments in Columbus, the researchers on ground can take part in their investigations as if they too were on board, thanks to advanced communication technology and imaging systems. The experiments carried out in Columbus will be scheduled and supervised from the Columbus Control Center at Oberpfaffenhofen in Germany. Through this control center, researchers all over Europe can receive the results of their experiments in real time. Former ESA astronaut Reinhold Ewald is one of the ESA mission directors for the Columbus operations. The Columbus Control Center will come into action soon. We are simulating right now the mission of the Columbus Laboratory. The Columbus Laboratory will be attached to the International Space Station and then the Columbus Control Center will join the uh, sequence of control centers all over the world, Houston, Moscow and uh, Munich will be called in order to control the systems of the Columbus uh, Laboratory. Although Columbus is smaller in length than the other modules of the ISS, thanks to the ingenuity of the European engineers that have designed Columbus, it offers the same number of racks for research as the American and Japanese laboratories. And, by being smaller, all the initial internal and external payloads are launched together with the module, thereby saving extra launches, time and expense. Once in place, Columbus will begin to bear the fruits of Europe's investment in the ISS program. Its scientific results will give us a greater understanding of life on Earth and further the development of technology. And it will undoubtedly make every European feel proud that their space agency, ESA, is a part of the biggest international research project ever undertaken. This is Mission Control Houston now back inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room. 
where the team is monitoring systems on board the station, working in concert with the uh, team outside of Moscow that also monitors the station systems, as well as the Payload Operations Integration Center, which oversees the science work that is done inside the Destiny Lab, that center at the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. This is view a view inside the Destiny Lab with ex expedition.